Shalom. I'm going to start by giving all the praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bashim, Yahushai, Bashim, Arichak, Wadash. The one is to the elder apostles and bishops of the great millstone that rule well. And as always, peace, blessings, and salutations unto the hopeful elect tabernacle of David that is scattered abroad throughout the earth. And I'm going to start off with this scripture here. This is the book of Ecclesiasticus, Sirach, chapter 33. And I'm going to start at verse 13. It says, as the clay is in the potter's hand to fashion it at his pleasure, so man is in the hand of him that made him to render to them as like of him best. Good is said against evil and life against death. So is the godly against the sinner and the sinner against the godly. So look upon the two works of the Most High. And there are two and two, one against another. And when you think about it, the opposition that we have as defenders of this word as servants of Yahweh Shemiah Shai and you know hopeful members of the elect. We can't forget the Lord made our opposition too. And that's where the balance comes in. You start to learn that these nigglets that we have to battle with, they're necessary. They're part of the Most High's movie. And the more we actually understand that, the more you get patient. Yeah, you still get vexed at times. You get a little agitated, annoyed. And we got to deal with these little characters and scoffers and weirdos that pop up every now and then, you know, on the scene. Well, they're part of the opposition, you know, and the Most High made them as well. You know, every once in a while you get the the King David demon that'll pop up or you might get an, another black Christian that's going to pop up. Um, you're going to, uh, you know, get some wicked demon that was amongst us and they appear to be a good, good guy, but turn out to be the biggest demon you probably ever meet. Well, the Lord made all of them. He made all these characters, man. Even the latest character, this, this big 600, my 600 pound life, uh, gluttonous, obese, uh, you know, slow belly. All right. That, you know, you, you could just tell, like, they put him up to this, whoever sent him. Well, guess what? He's part of that, that clay in the potter's hand. The Lord made him. And we got to deal with him just like we deal with other characters, lowly characters. Remember, the Lord made Achan, the man who took that 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 Babylonian garment and, and and cursed the uh the congregation. The Lord made Abimelech and the sons of uh, Shechem. And remember, they, you know, the one guy, he went and slew all his brothers and went to the other side of the family and, you know, basically put in their head, y'all want 70 men to rule or you want one man to rule over you? Then they put him up. And then next thing you know, the Lord, you know, put a, a, a reservoir dog spirit between them and it became a war. All these niggas... <laughs> they all uh, played a role in the Most High's movie. Korah, Dathan, Abiram. You know, those three opposers. They came up against the leadership. They came up against Moses. And thought that the Lord was dealing with them. All them type of souls, the Lord created them too. All right, good is said against evil. And life against death, so is the godly against the sinner, and the sinner against the godly. So we're going to have all these characters, and they're back in their lot today. 
And the Lord made Saul and all of the house of Saul. The Lord made them. No. The Lord made Jeroboam and all them wicked kings that ruled and sat on the throne that caught that kept Israel in, in iniquity. You know, under major stumbling blocks. See? The Lord made uh Jezebel and and and, and her demonic ass husband and and you know their their followers, the the the, the, the worshippers of Baal that went at it with uh, Elijah. The Lord made all those those demons, man. And I'm just and I'm you know, this is just off the top, but it you know, it got me thinking a little bit. And it kind of helps you deal with, you know, these people, man. When we're dealing with these these low character people that we have to deal with, we just got to think this is all part of the Lord's uh, will, his purpose, his movie. All right. The Lord made those zealots. He made through this and Judas. You know, he made them Sakari niggas, <laughs> you know. It was like, man, fuck this whole uh, peaceful approach. We ain't trying to pay no taxes, man. We we just trying to keep them laws. That's what makes you right. And they caused that war in Rome. The Lord made them. You know, Paul had to deal with a lot of opposition. The Lord made uh, Hymenaeus. He made uh, Alexander the coppersmith. Who, who, who did them wickedness. Niggas in the church, you know, opposing the doctrine, you know, teaching that the resurrection had already came already. You know, the Lord made those men of the baser sort that, that took uh, Jason in them. You know, them, them low character, the mean, rogue, scoundrel ass niggas. You know, he made them too. Okay. All these all these characters, the Lord made them. Say. The Lord made <laughs> and, I, and I could just keep going. You know, I'm just thinking of all the villain characters that we read about. Judas. We know the Lord made Judas, and that was prophesied. Psalms 109 chapter 109 chapter. Judas didn't even want to be Judas, but he had no choice. He was set to betray the Lord, man. He was, he was going to be in the Lord's intimate circle or as one of the twelve. But his whole purpose was to betray Yahweh Shai. That character, that, that spirit got to be back at somebody. The Lord made him. Could you say the most size the 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 goat when it comes to uh creating villain characters as well as uh you know righteous protagonist characters who could who could beat the most high when it comes to directing and producing and making a movie <laughs> you know especially when like these characters man that we got to see today is just man we never seen nothing like it You know, dealing with the uh, the wildy coyotes and the 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 wars, the Nazarias, the elements, all these characters, man, and they're probably one of the villains that I mentioned coming back in their lots. You know, got to deal with you know Nate. That character got to deal with Yohanna and, and, and them, them gangsters that's up under him. They all back. So that's why I wanted to start off the, the, the video with this scripture. Because it all boils down to the balance of the Lord. All right. Basically, a lot of our opposition, are con their controlled opposition, everything is, is controlled. It's like Esau, he deals with controlled opposition. The Mosai does that too. 
vocab. Haman, the Lord made Haman. And he tried to get us wiped out. It's a, it's a, it's a special spirit on vocab to do what he's doing. The last I checked, he had uh, that, 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 that other character, Judah Natura, that, that Old Testament Israelite. He was on uh, vocab, I think, last night. The Lord made him too. So, that just goes to show you the level of the Heavenly Father, man. That all things be done on earth as it is in heaven because all things obey his will. You're going to have the evil and you're going to have the good. So Rock 18 and 1, it says, He that liveth forever have created all things in general. The Lord only is righteous, and there is none other but he who governeth the world with the palm of his hand, and all things obey his will. Even those that are coming against us and coming against this truth, the scoffers and the scorners, those who's, who misuse the prophets, that scorn the prophets, that put the prophets to death, they, they're obeying the will of the Heavenly Father. Believe it or not, because they're opposition. This wouldn't be a fight without opposition. All right, we got to earn our way into victory. It says, for he is the king of all, by all power dividing holy things among them from profane. And let me get uh, real quick. Isaiah <clears throat> 45 and uh, 9 and it says woe unto him that striveth with his maker let the pot shared strive with the pot shares of the earth shall the clay say to him that fashioneth it what makest thou or thy work he have no hands woe unto him that saith unto his father what begettest thou or to the woman, what has thou brought forth? And even the, the, the wicked women, the Lord made them too. The Lord made Eve. All right. Uh, the Lord made uh, 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 Athalia. I think that was her name. The bitch that was trying to become, you know, she was trying to sit at the top. You know, killed her sons and shit. Jezebel. All right. The Lord made those those witches too. The woman that told the Lord, "Bless the the uh, the, the the breast that that blesses the womb," you know that that I, I forget how she said, but she was basically trying to imply, you know, woman should get a uh, honor too. The, the the mother should get honor and, and praise and worship too. And the Lord says, "Yea, but rather that you know men uh, uh, keep the com." Uh, Keep the commandments, you know, do the will of the Father and keep it. And the Lord made her too. You see? <clears throat> so, they can't help themselves. The way these demons behave and the way they are, they can't help themselves, man. The Gino, the, the pastor Gino Jennings, that character, he can't help himself. You see? All of our, all, all of our opposition, man. That that the chief Ephraim character. All right, he he's probably just another dumb zealot. You know, he's just ready to crash out at any any minute. Well, he's uh, you know, the Lord made him. He can't help himself. Them 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 young dudes over at uh, WFI, they can't help themselves. You know, all the guys that in, crept in unawares, hey, you know, they were ordained to their condemnation. The Lord bring these character in, these characters in for a reason. And we that's why we pray and hope that we're, you know, we're not those uh characters. We're not of the on the villain side. You know, we pray and hope that we're of the righteous, that we're of the the hopeful elect, you know, the house of David. Because you had the, the villains, the evil characters, and you got the good ones. 
OK. You know, you had the uh, the, the Hezekiah's, you know, um, the uh, Jerub, Jerub, uh, Jer uh, Zerubbabel, which, you know, that was uh, David. All right. Back back in his lot, you had the um, high priest Joshua's, <coughs> you know, you had the, the Elijah's and Elisha's. You had the um, hell. I mean, I'm, and I'm just throwing out random characters. The ones I mentioned, the ones on the on, on the top of my head, that on the on the other side. All right, but even the, the the good ones. Okay, Moses, Aaron, uh, uh, Joshua, and Caleb. They all are back doing their thing too. You, know, you got um you know the different you know Barack you know the one in in Deborah you have um I'm just you know I'm and I'm just thinking man the Samsons guys are back in their lots So this is, you know, this is just to, you know, bring under, you know, more understanding to it. And that's why, let me see if I can find it. <clears throat> the more you understand, the less angry you'll be. Let me see if I can... Uh... Yeah, Proverbs 14 and 29, it says, He that is slow to wrath is of great understanding, but he that is hasty of spirit exalts of folly. You know, and that's why, like, when we deal with opposition, basically, we deal with not only just their character, but also if they're coming against us in doctrine, that's when we... You know, we blow them up, so to speak. All right. We we uh, give the warning to the sheep. You know, we mark them, which caused the vision. We put the scope on them and, and tell our, our followers to avoid them. You know, let them know who they are in the spirit. Sometimes if it's bad, you know, we throw a curse up on them. But still have an understanding that, hey, you know, the Lord, you know, made them. And it might be, you know, the few of these characters that might turn around in the end. And we, you never know. Go from being a villain to, you know, oh, you just needed to get cussed out or something had to happen to him. So, yeah, man, they, they, they everybody's in a lot, everybody. So we got to deal with these characters every now and then. All right, this 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 King David demon, six hundred pounds eating swine, and you're gonna have other guys too. So, and this is just to bring balance to it as well. You know, we know that uh, a false abomination. A false balance is an abomination to the Lord. And at least in the kingdom, we all, all Israel is going to be righteous. But for now, you know, the Lord has that duality, the controlled opposition. Good is said against evil. So like, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's how you know Satan, you know, is five something in the morning over here and I'm already getting a scam call. So, yeah, man, you know, we, we're going to have that. But us, you know, coming up on a level, you're going to have understanding of that, that we're, we're supposed to have this, you know. We're supposed to have all these different characters pop up. Uh, the, the, you know, you had uh, Elamis. How, how I forget Elamis the Sorcerer. You know, uh, Demetrius uh, the Coppersmith, you know. 
he was a, a maker of uh, uh, idols. He made money off of idols. That and these these uh, church leaders they get mad at us. They call us out because we're uh, stopping their money. They're all part of this too. The the uh, what was the name of that that guy that popped up? Uh, Apostle Clarence. <laughs> I, we call him Apostle Clarence, you know, uh, from that 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 movie. You know, he was a, a sorcerer who who basically was making his money off of deceiving the people, trying to become this fake messiah. But you had that uh that one guy that popped up talking about uh, Jacob's trouble had already took place already. No different than Alexander and um. Was a Philetus that said that the resurrection had uh, passed already? You know, people coming with heresies, a lot of heretic groups. This is all forewarned. So, <clears throat> this should help you, you know, deal with that. You know, I, I, I ain't gonna lie. I'm not going I'm not being a hypocrite. I get agitated when some of these dudes come along too, it's, and that's just due to the zeal that we have. You know, we really uh, passionate about this this word. And when some jokers come up and try to, you know, profane, you know, what we're trying to keep uh, pure, yeah, we, we feel a certain way. But every name we still catch ourselves like, man, <laughs> you know, they're, they're, they're the Lord purpose these, these men. They got their lot. They got their rule. So, yeah, man. And, um, you know, the Lord's going to deal with all of our opposition, of course. He's going to get rid of them. All right, let's go to Isaiah 41. <clears throat> Isaiah 41 and 11, it says, Behold, all they that were incensed against thee, Shall be ashamed and confounded. The Lord's going, He's going to confound these dudes at some point. All right, especially when uh when 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 the, when all these prophecies get fulfilled, they're going to see that we were right. All right, they shall be as nothing, and they that strive with thee shall perish. And that's all that's going to happen. And everybody that risen up against us in judgment. You know, uh, shall we condemn? So, yeah, man. So I'm, uh, you know, I'm gonna end the lesson with that. I was, you know, Lord willing, this was edifying. I just want to go into that. All right, I'm gonna give all praise to Yahweh Shemayahu Shai. Until the next lesson, Shalom.